I cannot believe it is already the time of year where YesStyle launches their yearly holiday advent calendar. I have the one for 2021 here and every year I like to do an unboxing, share with you guys the products you get in this advent calendar and all the finer details. So YesStyle did send this to me, I've had this for a couple days and I'm finally getting around to unboxing it. Now to give you guys some of the details about this box, this is going to retail for $189.90, so just shy of $200. It is supposed to be worth over $350 and there are 24 full size products in here. Now, as far as ordering this, you want to jump on this because every year this sells out. So if you're interested in getting this for yourself or as a gift, definitely hop on it. For silver and gold members, the exclusive pre-order is going to start September 14th. So it's actually already started when you're watching this video. The pre-order date for everyone else is going to be September 28th, and then the official release date is going to be October 5th. I'll put all of the information down in the description box below in case you wanna see it all written out, but I'm kind of antsy. I made the effort to not even look at any of the products that are in this box, so all of this is gonna be a surprise to me, and I'm just gonna go ahead and ooh, like dig in. <laughs> I forgot to mention I'm partnering with YesStyle to host a giveaway of one of these advent calendar boxes. So I'll put all the information into the description box below if you want a chance to win. So this year's theme is like a space mission theme, hence Mission KB21. And so to open it up, you guys have never seen these boxes or anything. It's made of like pretty solid cardboard. So if you wanted to, you know, repurpose this in some way, shape or form, you could probably figure out a way to repurpose it. And as you can see, I'm just gonna pull the whole drawer out. Each of the pockets here are labeled by the day, so you can use this as an actual traditional advent calendar, day by day opening up these little compartments to see what you get. So, day one. So I do mention this a couple times when I'm unboxing the first level, but I do think my products were put in the wrong way because you'll see I'm having a hard time taking them out of the little individual compartments, but that obviously corrects itself as I move on to the second and third and fourth drawer. But I just wanted to make a note of that. Oh, the Advanced Snail Hydrogen Eye Patch from COSRX. Day two. Romand Han, oops. <laughs> We've got the Romand Han All Sharp Brow. I've actually never tried this before. I am currently using the Romand Brow Gel, which I really like. So we'll see if I actually like their brow pencil. This is in Gentle Brown, which, you know, is typically around the shade that I go for. I tend to change it up day to day. Sometimes my eyebrows are darker, sometimes they're lighter. <laughs> but it looks like it's a nice, like, Oh yeah, precise pen if you can see that. I will say one thing that I noticed immediately right off the bat as far as like the repurposability of this advent calendar for this year. In the past years, Yes Styles advent calendars were like little baby drawers. So this one's a little different because I am actually, yeah, I don't know if you could actually repurpose these because this whole thing is like very cardboardy. So it's not really a drawer like the past years. I mean, you could definitely reuse the box but it's not like little drawer compartments as it's been in the past years. Okay, now that I've said that. <laughs> Number three, this one's like way too big for the compartment. <laughs> can you guys see that? I'm sure I can get it out. Wow, wait a minute. How do I get this out? Let me go through compart, oh, okay. Well, I guess I just have to rip it. Um, okay, from Sewn By Me, the Bye Bye Blemish Vitatox Brightening Bubble Cleanser. Again, another product that I haven't tried. Now, some years when I open these, I've tried like almost all of the products. This year so far, most of them I haven't tried. Oh, it's an, oh no, how am I supposed to get this out? It's like a round, it's like a square peg in a round hole or whatever they say. There's literally a square box in here trying to get out of a round hole. How the heck? Can you guys see that? Look how like, <laughs> it is not gonna come out of there. I'm gonna have to rip it like right here or something. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section below, do you guys actually open these up day by day or do you just open them up at once like I do? So in day four, we have the Pep Fingertip Balm. This is from, I guess the brand is called, oh no, it's I'm Mimi, I'm Pep Balm. And the shade is in one recharger. So it's like kind of those painty looking lip products. Next we have day five. We'll see if I can squeeze it through the hole. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this one's a round one. Now we have the opposite problem, a round product trying to get through a rectangular slot. This is the Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder, the new version. I actually haven't tried the new version. I have a old version, I guess, 
that's what it would be in my collection right now. So we'll have to see what the difference is with this and the old one. Last one in this shelf, we've got day six. Which, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to go around. This is the VT Sika by Hyaluron Sika Bubble Sparkling Booster. I have no idea what this is. Are these those like sparkle packets? I've used those before on my channel. They were very interesting. Let me see. I think these are the type of products you put in like a water bowl and you splash your face with it or something like that. Basically the bubbles kind of exfoliate your skin or you can even submerge your face in it. I've tried those before and those are quite interesting. I feel like I'm kind of water waterboarding myself, but anyways, okay, so that was day six. We're on day seven, which looks like the biggest compartment here. Ooh, oh, so satisfying. <laughs> Ooh, we've got mascara, it looks like, Lash Correcting Mascara. This is from Holica Holica. We have the curl version, and then we have the lip and eye makeup remover. Uh-oh, so this must be like one of those super sturdy, waterproof mascaras if it's coming with the remover. I typically don't love these, but I haven't tried a mascara from Holica Holica, at least in a while, so maybe I'll try it and give it a go and see if this removes it well enough, then maybe it'll be worth it. We have the Cleo Prism Highlighter in Cream Fizz. I actually have this already, so I will probably give this away. It is a very pretty highlighter, if you guys can see. We have the Time Stop Peptide Eye Cream in, this is from The Plant Base. This is a brand I'm slowly getting introduced to, like product by product. I haven't tried a ton from them, but I've heard a lot of really good things, so I guess there's another eye cream I can try from them. Day 10. We have the Volume Fix Essential Lip Oil. This is from McQueen New York, which by the way, McQueen New York and Tony Moly's logos are way too similar, so I always get them mixed up, but. We have a little lip oil from McQueen. Perito Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. Ooh, I could definitely use this. My skin's been angry lately, and so I'll probably try that one out. And last but not least, we have day 12, which is the Hand and Foot Perfume Cream by, from Village 11 Factory. Okay, so we're already halfway through. Let's go ahead and check out this third drawer here. So we are on day 13. This one's heavy. Ooh. I already recognize the brand and I know that I like this <laughs> brand. We have the Myzon Sika Hyaluron Cleansing Balm. I've never tried a cleansing balm from Myzon. This is gonna go like immediately in my shower because I'm very excited about that. Number 14, which is the biggest compartment here. We have the Kung Yule Calming Mask Pack. One of those, a nice sheet mask. Ooh, get out. I always pronounce this brand wrong. We have the iUnique Noni Light Oil Serum. Never tried it. Day 16. Down here. We have the Claire's Pore Gentle Black Sugar Charcoal Soap. I usually use these types of things on my body because these are usually a bit too drying on my face, so I'll either use it on my body or I'll, I'll give that one away too, probably. Day 17, Cotton Candy Capsule. Oh, how cute, from Coringo. It's like a little um, brush set. I'll have to show you guys in the B-roll. But it's like a little tube set. Oh my gosh, that's so tiny. Whoa, it's like retractable too. Whoa, this is cool. These are so itty bitty. And then last we have day 18. This is the Neogen Dermology All Day Locking Fixer. I have yet to try this either. We're on day 19, I believe. This one's heavy too. What is it? The Secret Key Black Snail Original Cream. Would you guess? 20. 
Oh, this is the Get Loose Glitter Gel from Unleashia. I was eyeballing this on Yesdal for a while and then I opted against it because uh, I tend to not like putting chunky glitter on my face or near my eyes because I have very, very sensitive eyes. And if I remember, yeah, this is kind of like chunky glitter. 21. We have the Isn't Tree Real Mugwort Clay Mask. I actually have this already, so I'll probably be giving this away, but it's supposed to be more gentle than a lot of other clay masks. I still like to use clay masks every once in a while because even though I have dry, sensitive skin, sometimes your skin just needs like a nice detoxifying treatment. Ooh, we have the I'm from Honey Serum. I've never tried this either, but we'll see. I'm I'm hit or miss when it comes to honey products. Sometimes they're just too sticky and viscous for me. So maybe I'll have better luck with this one. Hopefully it's more lightweight. The one from Skin Food everyone was obsessed with, I didn't really love. So hopefully I'll have better luck with this. Mersey Mellow Tint in the shade Brie Rose. That's what that looks like. I don't wear a lot of tints anymore. I never really was a big tint girl, so I'll probably give this one away too, especially because I don't wear like super bright colors on my lips that often. And then last but not least, day 24. This one's not coming out clean. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a palette from Peri Peri. This is the All Take Mood Palette in Mutiful Rose. Ooh, this looks pretty. I always love eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> it's like the one thing I can never have enough of because I just love eyeshadows. These are like lilac-y colors, some muted roses in there. We've got some like more cool tone colors. So I actually haven't tried this from Peri Peri and I think they have other shade combinations or shade families of this eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna have to check these out or like try this one and see if I wanna check more out. But that one's so pretty. All right, you guys, so that was the holiday advent calendar from YesStyle for the year 2021. I wanna know what your guys' thoughts on this are. I definitely, like I say every year, I do think that these are worth the money if you are the type of person who likes to try out different products, be introduced to new brands, and that you are into this type of thing. You're just like a beauty connoisseur. I feel like this year they had a lot more skincare than makeup than they had in the past years. I feel like usually it's pretty 50-50, but this year I feel like there's definitely a lot of skincare in here, which, you know, like I said, if you love that, you probably really like this year's box. And again, I'm gonna put all the details down in the description box below if you guys want to pick this up. Like I said, let me know your guys' thoughts down below if you guys open these all at once, if you open them day by day, if you actually buy these every year. I'm very curious to hear your guys' feedback. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.